Good morning, Chuck here in Tapanom. Time for the morning sermon. I want to talk to you about today. We have a guest that arrived yesterday. His name's Andy Wright. He's been in my videos before. He's a vlogger. He's got a obvious handicap and I like the guy. Now, uh, he's had quite a few bad seeds, I guess you could say, in his in his comment section and uh, kind of deterred him a little bit, I think, from making videos. This guy's walking around with a helmet, which is kind of odd. But um, maybe he ran out of gas. But the thing is, is that, you know, we all have, you know, when we're sharing our lifestyle in in thailand a lot of people don't agree with it because it's not something that they they can perceive they have their own opinion whether it's based on their own experiences or what they've read in multiple comment sections or what they've been told by their thai spouse or or whatever the case may be but our experiences are always going to be different in thailand and we have to realize that but with andy you know he has a different uh a different time and different experience because of his condition uh, so he has his own set of complaints and his own set of needs and his own set of ways that he would like to see things improve uh, for not just him I think for all handicapped people and from my experience I can see that a lot of that has changed in Thailand like they have made massive improvements throughout Thailand to cater to Handicapped people, of course, I don't think it could ever be perfect anywhere, right, in the world. So I think when you have disabilities, you're limited, obviously, to what you can do in life. And actually, anything could be a disability. If you have a food allergy, uh, you don't like certain types of food. I mean, if you have your own specific handicaps, it kind of keeps you from doing a lot of things that maybe some other people can do. Like if you can't eat pork, you're not gonna go to an all-you-can-eat pork rib buffet. <laughs> that was silly, sorry. Anyway, we're gonna meet him. He's coming today. We, we kind of pressed for time though. We got a lot of things happen happening here before we head out. Today, we are gonna head to Mamou's house and help prepare a bunch of food for tomorrow. Now tomorrow, my family's, uh, they sponsor not the big temple, but another temple down the street, just like we sponsored the little school. But uh, that's where a lot of their family members are cremated at, at this particular temple. And to get to the point, each temple is allowed to have like one festival or like a donation each year because there's many temples in, in a lot of towns in Thailand if you haven't noticed or if you haven't been here I'm, there is a lot of a lot of temples you can take my word on that so each of them to be fair are only allowed to have one time a year a celebration for donations from the temple and it just so happens that this one is coming up tomorrow which is Sunday so we're gonna help with that. Usually, a lot of times that people will donate a big uh, a food, have free food festivals, and then you can donate money and help support the uh, the temple. Now we have a huge temple here. Like this is a very popular temple. Tapanom is actually a pretty popular town. If you tell anybody in Thailand, Tapanom. They know Tat Phanom because of Wat Pra Tat Phanom, which is a temple here, and it's actually sponsored by the royalty. So you can only choose one. If you're sponsored by the royalty, then you get funds from the royalty. And uh, I don't know how, maybe that's unlimited funds. You don't have to have a festival <laughs> every year, but I don't think they sponsor. I actually, I have no idea how many temples royalty sponsors, but I do know that they sponsor Wat Pra Tat Phanom. So they don't, have, they have a huge festival every year and I know they rent out stuff and they gotta be collecting money from that too. 
but it's not a gatim. I'm not an expert on this. I'm only sharing what my wife is <laughs> is telling me. So that's all I can do on when it comes to events in Thailand because I really don't. There's so many events and so many things happening, but forget all to put all that stuff aside i know we always want to know why we're doing this or why we're doing that we're just going to go cook some food tomorrow good morning bye night bye home knock on okay have fun <laughs> he's a he owns this shop here he has a dry cleaning and we take our stuff there sometimes but he's also a school teacher. And he also has plenty of money. But you can't really tell a lot of times uh, when people have money because they're, I don't know, they don't, they're not like flamboyant with things, you know? Like the lady over here who sells soup, she's got probably more money than I'll ever have in my entire life. But she takes, she sends her entire uh, family's kids to college. And they all go over there and help too, but she has a lot of money. I don't quite understand all the events, but I can tell you, it's always fun. And it's for me, it's not fun to always run around and having to completely understand everything in life. I was very technical, I'm going to say in my past life, like I fix things. And in order to fix things, you have to understand how it works before you can fix it. So if it's broken, you got to understand completely the whole complete function of the system or the component before you can diagnose it. <laughs> and my life has been pretty much like that. And I'm so happy to just go with the flow, I guess you could say. You know, not worry too much about why this or why that. And just it's breathtaking to just enjoy the moment, <laughs> right? But um that's what's happening today a little bit busy for me today tomorrow we're gonna go to the temple i'll show you guys what it's all about a little thai style uh video tomorrow some culture this and that that dog is gonna run so he just ran right out in the street luckily this truck saw him When you have pets, they're not really street smart. Look at this guy, he's going really fast. On a little side street. Yeah, this one too. We have a bypass, but I think people bypass the bypass. They miss it. Anyway, it's gonna be a great day. Good morning. Oh, and we have to seriously start packing for our next adventure. It's going to be probably over a month long. Mom, I know you're laying in bed watching this video right now, so you've got to get up and start getting prepared, or we're just going to, going to put your stuff out for, uh, for takeaway. Uh, Karate. It's a really good time. Really nice place. Welcome back. Here he is. I see you found Mom. I see him. Hello, mum. <laughs> That's it. Keep it keeping keep with your mum. Yeah. Got to keep it with your mum. Is that you go pro ten? Yeah. It is. Wow. Let's look at your eyes today, mum. My eyes. Why? I had surgery. Oh. Yeah, it looks good. Look into my eyes. <laughs> yeah. Is it come come true? How are you, Ben? Well. Well, you know what's been going on the last few years with all the rubbish that's been going in the world and yeah. not been able to get here, not yeah. here, not to come here. Um, the first time I came was May and it was a nightmare, a complete nightmare. And then of course I'm back here now, October, not too bad. Everything's sort of fairly okay, um, but for two years. Well, congratulations on the marriage. It's, well, it's, it's been, what, a year, two years now? Eight years. Wow, so, come on, mate. Really? Keep Eight up, years. mate. <laughs> Clearly not watching I my I know videos. all of my subscribers so well. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah, he, I watch, he, watch I asked my mom, how's your eyes looking? He goes, what happened to your eyes? So I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm joking. We all, know. we all have, you know, yeah. a lot of things going yeah, on in our lives. We're all busy. You know, so. I mean, to be fair, I, I can't remember your wife's name. I ain't got the time. I can't remember your wife's name. Ta, 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 ta. 
Okay. Todd. I don't, I, Chuck. I'm sorry. Todd Chuck. Yeah, I'm Chuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I've forgotten your name. We had Kara. met. Kara. Kara, yes, yeah, of course. Yeah. We had, we had got, met a uh, couple years Mom, ago. Mom, that's better. Mom's fine. Mom's okay. I like Mom. I like you. <laughs> Can you be my mum? Sure. Well, I lost no. my I lost my mum two, two years ago, uh, just before the COVID thing. Uh, it wasn't COVID. It was just yeah. she had a heart problem. Yeah. So yeah, not been not yeah. been very good. Two when years. do you go back to the UK uh, to England? Next Wednesday. Wow. Next Wednesday. Wow. Yeah, very quick. Wow. Mind you, I've been here for a month. Came here end of September. Yeah. We've been quite busy, you know. Mm -hmm. Udong Tani, uh, down to Bhagram, yeah. you know, Patia. Yeah. So, all the usual places. What and about, I know we were going back and forth last time you were here and you talked about it on your channel before, but what about, are you able to figure out a permanent way to stay? Not yet. Not no, yet. No, it's not really. And with my condition yeah. deteriorating quite quickly. Yeah. I'm finding it very difficult even to walk a few steps. What now. exactly is your condition? Because somebody's well, asking me right now in the comment they, section. Yeah. What you've got chat on there, I just I'm that kind of guy. Oh, like I, I just I could visualize that. Yeah, thinking yeah. ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I guess say that would be a good GoPro to buy. If I did that. <laughs> yeah. I'd be very impressed. I see him typing right now. Yeah. Alright. Ask him what he could well, I have uh, basically I have cerebral palsy. That was from birth. That didn't really affect me. You know, I was able to function in life. And then 2014, I had this back surgery that they totally cocked up and left me probably immobile for a long time. It took me a year to recover from that. Yeah. Um, I had no help from anybody. My own. Um, my own sort of determination to get back up um, and of course from there from 2014 onwards it's sort of been and then a slow curve down you know, to where I am now I, it's got to the point where I can't even walk a few steps mm -hmm. I mean, I'm relying on people helping me to walk around I've got my walking stick I've got my scooter I see you in your videos with your mobility yeah. scooter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. I do watch some of your videos back home because I'm inter I've never been there and I'm interested to see some of those things yeah. too. Yeah. And your commentary is kind of funny sometimes. Yeah. It's that British humor, yeah. but you complain in a different way <laughs> because you do have a lot of things to complain about. Oh, but I do. But you I know, you're, you're you know you're obviously moving through life. With yeah. a handicap, yeah. and I, res I I told you this before. I respect that greatly. Yeah. yeah. And uh, for anybody to be determined to try to do something in their life with disabilities is is awesome because we can't all just sit back and be a victim, right? No. So we just we got to keep moving forward. I would tell people that because um, I try to do some motivational work with people as well. So like, not this is very. Uh, on a formal basis, but yeah. on informal, I tend to say, look, you know, you're sat here, you, you have these ideas that you want to do X, Y, and Z, go out and do it. Right. Don't don't sit there thinking that X, Y, and Z is going to come to you, because it's not. X, Y, and Z is out there. Yeah. If you want it, you've got to go and get it. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah? It's true. And But a lot of people were, oh, I don't, I don't think I can do that. Oh, how do I do that? Oh, how do I get there? Yeah. yeah, I think we read too much into things. You don't know unless you try, and then you have exactly. to you have to adapt, you know, to whatever obstacle that you encounter. Right? Exactly. You got to figure out how yeah. to get through that. Yeah. I mean, I would never. I mean, I going back a little way. I did sort of have this idea because I was earning a lot of money at the time, self-employed, and my health was a lot better. Uh, in fact, I've been all around the world. You know, traveling, so I've been to America and uh, Australia and things like that. On uh, various teaching holidays, so I was teaching karate. Um, and then, of course, I thought, I need a partner. And I'd just gone through a, a bad divorce uh, and I lost quite a lot of everything, basically. Um, and I wanted somebody to share my life with. And I thought, how am I going to do that? There's nobody really that. I like in the UK, like, I'm not being rude, 
but they're not my type. Because yeah. my wife was from Malta. So I like the foreign aspect of, yeah. of relationship and the culture. And, and uh, so I went I went to see uh, I went to uh, Ukraine, I went to Russia, nothing. Didn't, didn't get any, any success there. And then somebody said, why don't you try Thailand? Thailand, Thailand, Thai ladies are beautiful. They look after you, they, they have a family atmosphere, you know, they, they will help you and everything. And I thought, wow, that's amazing. How do I do that? So I looked around and there were lots of scams. Mm -hmm. You've got to be aware of those. Uh, I found a, an agent and I went through the agency and then I went to, and at the time I just had my when you say surgery. agent, what kind of agent? And we're not he talking was, about like to find women agent, right? Yes. Oh, you are like yes. But what type of agency? I'm not, I don't think I've heard. He was in the Udon Tani, so he was based there. He was a, a Brit. What are they? What is their function as an agency? They have ladies. They they enroll ladies. They they vet them, and they sort of match you to them. So it's like a dating agency. Yeah, like a dating agency or a marriage agency, I suppose. Because that was my ultimate goal. Was I had I had saved up the money in order to pay for everything, get the visa, pay for everything, get her over, and we would live happily ever after in the UK. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm giggling in the background because you a lot of people that they've told me that where would you find her on the internet? So yeah, this is it can it's happen, true, right? It can happen, so, but you yeah. have to be very very careful. Yeah. There, <laughs> oh my God! I mean, my friend Alfie. I mean, he, he's had some experiences of this, of uh, dating from the, the, the normal uh, website, Thai, you know, Thai uh, dating mm -hmm. website. He's done it that way. And my, oh boy, you've got to be very careful. There are some very genuine scammers mm -hmm. that can, they can take you to the cleaners. So I wasn't interested in that. I wanted to go with the person who I could see in person. And I, I could deal with him face to face. And this, this guy was obviously from England, living here for a long, long time. He had a Thai wife. He was, he was had health conditions as well. So for me, it was like a no brainer. I thought, wow, he's going to understand my position. He's going to be able to help me. And he did. I mean, we, she was, I'm not saying that she was the first person I met, but we clicked. Yeah. And at the time, I just recovered from my surgery. I was using a, a rollator to walk, so I couldn't walk very far anyway. But I came here, on, and of course we had the internal uh, flights as well, because you have to go from um, Bangkok to Udon Thani. Uh, so I came from London, all, all of this on my own, with this rollator thing. It was amazing. I just. I can't believe I did it, but I did it. And this is uh, back to the point of, if you want the X, Y, and Z, then you've got to go out and do it. Anyway, so we, we sort of got together and I decided that, yeah, I'm gonna make this, make this work. So I came back in December, this was sort of August, uh, August time when we first met. I came back in December for Christmas. Went to meet the family and great experience. Thai family is very big. And, um, and uh, I asked, I said, I'm going to ask your dad for, for uh, if I can get married. So I asked her father, is it okay to get married? Yeah, no problem. Welcome. It's like, you know, fantastic. Uh, and then of course the following year, not too long after, we got married. And that, the idea was we'd apply for the visa get her over. Did you guys have a dowry or any of that? We, we did, yeah. There was a, a small dowry. I, okay. I didn't mind. Yeah. I didn't mind. It was a custom. Right, right. People reject the I'm custom. only asking because I know it's curious. You know, people are curious about yeah, these they, things. Yeah, yeah. So. And Not in a negative way, they just don't quite understand. Well, I, I've yeah. got lots of people who are negative. About yeah, I have Why are you paying that? Have Why do you have to pay that? <laughs> no. I would never pay. So, that. are you guys? I, I know this is a silly question, but you guys are still happy, right? We are, and you, but because you, you guys are like a distance apart. You know, quite yeah, a, we live six thousand miles apart. Yeah. Um, and how often do you come? Like once a year? You try? Well, I know because well, of COVID. Let's forget yeah. about 
that yeah, shit. Right, it's two, so, two, two or three times. in continuation of yeah. life, what's the plan? Two or three times, um, hopefully. I mean, most years. Two or three two, times a year? Yeah. 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 It is quite difficult because the other, the other additional spanner in the works is that we had the first visa. She came to the UK for six months, went home on the understanding that we would get another visa and they refused the visa. So this is the HM government, thank you very much. Um, they sort of gave a multitude of reasons why they would refuse it, which were all false. Yeah, we couldn't fight it. I spent nearly two years fighting it. No, mm -hmm. nothing at all. So um, we applied for a, well, she, she discovered a, um, a visa agent who listened to the, it, the problems we had. They said, oh no, we can help you. No problem, we'll help you. It is possible, we'll get you a visa. You can even guess the answer to that. Another rejection. And this time we discovered that actually she'd been banned from applying oh, no. for 10 years from the original. And we, did, we weren't told that. I see. So basically, in the, in the framework of um, the legal system, she can't apply for one for another five years. Hmm. What's that about? So I, I was having a little sermon this morning while I was drinking coffee, talking about, uh, you know, that you, as having handicaps, are concerned <laughs> about some of the handicap functions in Thailand. We've had the discussion yeah. a few years back. Yeah, we did. So how about today? Because, don't take my word for it, because from what I've seen, I've seen a lot of improvements mm. and, and, and accessibilities in yeah. Thailand. Have you noticed that? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, uh, uh, certainly we were in Pattaya just earlier on this month. Uh, totally different. I mean, it's, uh, it's amazing how much they've done, how much effort they put in. I mean, if, if the odd niggle where a ramp is like that and you think who thought of that idea yeah how the hell are you going to get up that ramp? <laughs> you know coming and, down would be yeah. fun too oh yeah come down okay but <laughs> you've got to get up it yeah. and um, my scooter's got a four uh, four degree incline yeah. uh, limit right. so if you go over that it will stop yeah. it's like halfway up and you got to turn it off turn it off go on. Uh, but I mean I don't know I, I think that I think it's only for luggage, though. I don't think it's handicap no, accessibility. I, I, I think mean, it's just so they can get their luggage cart up there. But how would you do it? I don't know. You've got to walk up it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what is the worst thing about your guys' relationship? <laughs> I don't want to hear no nasty stuff either. No, it's it's, a, it's um, mainly the point of living apart. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I think we work well. I think. You know, the, it's that Western idea, isn't it? Uh, that people have that you go to Thailand, you give them money, and it all solves everything. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, hey, look, I'm not going to ask him too many questions. Andy's actually a YouTuber. You guys can check out his channel. You're still actively making videos yeah. right now. Uh, I'll put a link again in the description box of this video. You guys check out Andy if you've got any further questions about Andy's condition, his uh, marital status, stuff, you know. Or if you want to watch a really good series from May uh -huh. to see how things can go wrong. Yeah. It's a good series. Andy, to watch. you need more drama in your titles. Oh. You need more. Andy, you guys will love his titles because it's like uh, episode one, series 10. That's how they want me to do my videos. They don't want me to do any kind of dramatic. Oh. You know. I can't be asked. But you need to have a more dramatic, uh, you know, a, a catcher, it. right? I did try it. You got to put a shiny coat of paint uh, on that on that car. I'm no good, you know? on, I'm no good on all that stuff. You, on the actually, FTO. don't listen to him. He's actually a very, very good <laughs> editor. Like, he taught me how to do OBS stuff, which I kind of faded away a little bit of that. Oh, it's just, yeah. it's I, I found something a little bit more basic. Yeah, I got yeah. too crazy with it. Yeah, I, was, I, I had like animals and pigeons and birds flying <laughs> yeah. and stuff. I got crazy with it. People were like, Chuck, uh, are you on acid or what are you doing? <laughs> you know? So I stopped. But anyway, your editing is outstanding. 
Oh, cheers. It really, really is. So you you just got to get that that grab. Yeah. You know, to yeah. get that, that. Yeah, I know. Every, yeah, I think yeah. that's everybody's problem in, in, in the YouTube world is we have something good to say. We have good content, but it's difficult to get in that that flow. It is. And, and you can't control that. It's all done through computer analytics and, and algorithms yeah. and stuff like that. Hey, I mean, did you see our scooter that I got, Mom? I did, yeah. That's pretty cool, That's huh? cool. You want to drive it? I do. <laughs> <laughs> you got a driver's license? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fully, fully, fully licensed. <laughs> Why don't you have a gold mine? <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn the camera off because I think it might oh. overheat and shut Oh up. no. Actually it's not, feel it. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not it's really? Not too bad. It's been on for... Uh, well, 30 minutes. No, not really. really. 30 minutes? Uh, about 13 minutes. Oh. Well, that was nice meeting Andy. Andy's... Uh, I, I admire Andy because he's able to adapt to his situation that he doesn't really just sit back and let life pass him up so he does he does try anyway. and we we do do this we do more than just drink beer look i drink yogurt milk and this probiotic yogurt i try to every day but this is really good for your uh for your stomach Digestive system, that's what I wanted to say. <laughs> Mafia's cooking lunch. Mom's eating a leftover meatloaf, meatloaf sandwich yeah. from last night. It is awesome. It is awesome. Whatever. 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 I can't tell anymore it's spicy or not, it's too spicy, but it's all I can't taste the spice though. I know it's spicy, I can just, I don't know, maybe my taste buds are fried. Mm -hmm. Look at that, awesome. Mafia says this is not spicy, but it is. And this is a little bit more, and this is more spicy. Yeah. <laughs> That's spicy. <laughs> Mm. Ped ma. Ped ma. Mm. <laughs> Aloy ma. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I eat too many peppers, I think. Mm. You never know. I will get you. Ped ma. Ped ma. Ped ma. <laughs> I need rice. Mm. She's still trying to give me a pepper, kid? Mm. Is it that one? That last My bit. Please. It's not spicy, oh. honestly. No. Not at all. I'm busy again. I got this from an awesome subscriber here from the U.S. Customs Border Protection Agency. Department of Homeland Security from Aruba pre-clearance. Thank you. That's a cool coin here.
Okay guys, I'm gonna end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna do some cooking. I hope you join us tomorrow to watch this part. We're gonna cook some stuff and then we're gonna head over to the temple and I'll show you uh, some of the festivities. It'll be a fun day. I hope you come with us. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.